Welcome to another edition of Math Tutorials. In today's lesson, we're going to take a look at testing claims about standard deviation using StatDisk. And so our first example is this problem. A simple random sample of 39 men from a normally distributed population results in a standard deviation of 12.2 beats per minute. The normal range of pulse rates is typically given as between 60 to 100. If the range rule of thumb is applied, the result is a standard deviation of 10, so that's kind of what you would expect is for sigma to equal 10. Use the sample results with a 0.10 significance level to test the claim that pulse rates of men have a standard deviation equal to 10. Okay, so in the first part of the question, they want us to figure out the null and the alternative hypotheses, HO and H1. You notice you're testing a claim that the pulse rates have a standard deviation, sigma is the symbol, equal to 10. So that's what you're testing. Is sigma equal to 10? And because that is equals, it's the HO. And then they don't tell you what you're looking at as an H1, so you would just make it the opposite of HO. So if, if HO is that sigma equals 10, we're going to have H1 be sigma not equal to 10. So that's the first part, is to set up your HO and your H1. Now the next part is to uh, compute the test statistic, compute the p-value, and then state your conclusion. And this is difficult to do by hand. I mean, you have to go to a table for it. There is a way to do it on the TI-83 or 84 graphing calculator, but it requires a program that doesn't come with the calculator. So we're going to go through how to do this on StatDisk. That's a free program that you can download at statdisk.org. And what we want to do is when you pop up your stat disk program is you want to go to the top of the menu which is kind of off the screen right now you go to analysis hypothesis testing and then choose standard deviation one sample and it'll give you a screen like this okay so what are we going to put in here well uh, the claim is that the population standard deviation equals the claimed standard deviation. So we put that as, we choose that. This is where you can choose. And so we choose equals, number one. The significance level given to us was 0.10. And the claimed standard deviation was 10. All right? They said that we expect it to be 10. The sample size was, at the very first sentence here, was 39. And the sample standard deviation was found to be 12.2 and then we simply hit evaluate and you see our chi-squared test statistic 56.559 so that's put that in there for our chi-squared and then it says find the p-value well that was there too here's our results from stat disk the p-value is 0.0536 so we put that in there and we got our p-value now remember how you make the decision um, what you're going to do is you're going to compare the p-value to alpha, right? And there's kind of a, a mnemonic that we have, which was if the, we say p-value low means h-o must go. In other words, you reject h-o. Now, what does low mean? It means if p-value is less than or equal to alpha, then you reject HO. Okay? So in our problem, alpha was 0.10. That's what they call the significance level. And we found the p-value through stat disk, the p-value was 0.0536. So notice the p-value is less than or equal to alpha. So we're going to reject HO. That's our decision. So we'll put that in, reject HO, because the p-value is less than or equal to the level of significance. And what does that mean? Well, the claim was that it's equal, right? That was our claim, is that sigma equals 10. We just rejected that claim. So what are we going to say? There is sufficient or insufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim that it's equal to 10. Well, we just rejected that it is, so there's sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim. And that's pretty much the, the process for how to do this kind of problem on stat disk.